Hi, it's Karen Harrison from the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources School Forest Program. Today, we're going to talk about tree bark. Bark is the outermost part of the tree. It's a protective layer that helps keep out pests and disease. I'm going to go for a walk around the neighborhood so we can look at some different trees. We'll talk about the characteristics that differ from tree species to tree species. To document some of the trees I'm looking at today, I'm going to do some bark rubbings. To do a bark rubbing, you want to hold the paper up close to the tree, hold it firmly, and then rub your crayon or pencil across the bark. And it will pick up some of the patterns. Just like that. When we look at different tree bark, we want to look at some different features. One thing that we can look at is the texture. Is it smooth, rough? What does it feel like? What does it look like? The color is another factor that we can look at, as well as the shape, direction of markings on the tree. Some tree bark has these furrows and ridges. One thing to look for is how wide the furrows are, if they're flat or rounded on top, and how deep they go. You can also look at if they're connecting. This tree, kind of, the furrows connect in like a zigzaggy pattern instead of being long, straight. So on this tree here we see, it almost looks like there's layers. Uh, these are more like scales or plate looking pieces of trunk unlike the deep furrows and ridges that we see on some of the other species. Here's a coniferous tree. We can see the scales on this one are a lot smaller, kind of flaky again, but not those really big pieces like we saw in the last tree. So here's a tree that's easy to distinguish from other trees. It's the birch. It has these really kind of papery, flimsy pieces of bark that flake away from the tree. We can really distinctly see the lenticels, which are kind of like little breathing holes on the tree bark. And it's a very light gray color. So I hope you're able to get out into your neighborhood and discover some different trees. Look closely at the tree bark. Can you write descriptive words and characteristics for each tree that you see? How are you able to distinguish one tree from the next? So I put all my bark rubbings together in one place. I've got my descriptions on the back side and I can flip through or I can open this up and compare and contrast the different bark rubbings.